Just gonna do a short video here of the shift knob replacement. The stock ST shift knob was actually giving me some issues on my middle finger inside knuckle just by the shape of it. Like that um, head of a golf club type shape. So I upgraded to this unit here from Shift Solutions. And I think it actually um, not only looks pretty good in the interior, but um, kind of jazzes it up, jazzes, jazzes, jazzes up the interior a little bit. So excuse the poor resolution, this is at night, but just gonna give you an impression here and the reverse lockout works. I did mount mines pretty low. It did come with a extra, well, not extra, but it came like with a, a rut, so to speak. I forget the exact name for the tool. Well, not so much the tool, but the, um, I had to use the wrench here to go ahead and install it. But um, let's say the, um, well, actually, I could just remove this real quick and just show you. It's not a big deal. So, I didn't mean for the video to be this long, but here you go. So, just installed this part. Uh, I put it lower than this just to see how far I could go and then backed off. So, but here's the cut for the reverse. And then here's this piece that comes with the shift knob. So let's go ahead and put that back on, see if I could do this one-handed. So that being said, for about 50 bucks, I think this is a good replacement unit for the stock head or the stock knob. And looks like we're lined up. And just in case if you need to see the stock one, I'm keeping it inside here just in case, but um, here's my stock piece over here. And it got a little nicked on the side here, if you could tell from the light. But the main issue I was having was that when I was holding this way on my middle finger, so I would grip the same way over here but even on top I would grip my middle finger over here and it would bruise um, the inside of um, the middle section here on my um, middle digit that my I'm not trying to give you the middle finger but my pointer finger right where it's lined up it would start bruising on the inside there um, it just started being sore and I'm only at, um, you can take a look here, 48,000 miles. So this has worked for me all the way up till now. But then once I started getting that bruising, I was like, well, let me look for another solution. And this is it, the shift solution. So again, I put mines a bit low. So like I have to be really judicial to get it into reverse, but not an issue. See, I can get it there just fine repeatedly so not a big deal it just doesn't have the longer travel since i put that rut solo but no issues because i kind of did want the knob itself to shit, sit a little bit lower so besides that everything else is good to go i don't plan to do any short um short shift assembly or anything like that done that in the past i'm kind of over it I'm good where the ST is right now. All right, later.